Thanks for tuning in. Previously, I introduced uh, an app that we've been working on called Drone Blocks, where you can drag and drop blocks to control your DJI and 3DR powered aircraft. As part of Drone Blocks, one thing we want to introduce is third party hardware. And one of the first external hardware components that we're looking at is this electro permanent magnet from, I believe it's pronounced Nika Drone or Nika Drone. That's N I C A drone.com. I'll put a link to this product below. And this electro permanent magnet supports UAV CAN, it's a derivative of a CAN bus, push button operation, PWM. Let me go ahead and demonstrate how this works both in a push button and PWM mode. Okay, you can see that this is powered up. I have my 3S LiPo feeding my ESC and the BEC from that is running five volts into the EPM. And what's crazy about this thing is I believe I read somewhere that it has about seven kilograms of force and will support a one kilogram payload. So a little bit over two pounds. Now, this is a 25 pound barbell. You see that I have this metal plate zip tied just for demonstration purposes. And see that's it's very heavy. And what I'll do is I'm going to use the push button from the EPM. I'll just set it on diagonally and then engage it. And now that it's engaged, I'm just going to grab a corner each of the EPM holding this plate. And you can see it's heavy that I can lift that. I can lift that 25 pound weight and I'll just disengage it. And then we can re-engage it one more time just to demonstrate. And now that thing is locked in. So that's how the push button operation works. So let me show you briefly the setup now. Sorry, everything's kind of packed in here. I didn't want to disassemble anything, but right now we have our EPM going to auxiliary out pin one. And then next to that, I just have the BEC powering this rail. I learned the hard way if you watched my Retrax video, I didn't have BEC power coming into this rail and ultimately caused the Pixhawk to reboot and crash. So you definitely want to power that rail with five volts EPM on auxiliary pin one. The other highly important thing is you wanna make sure you have your channel range from one to 16. By default, that will be one to eight and you'll want to bind in mode four. What that does is, if you're using Pixhawk, you'll have your eight S bus channels, and then you'll have an additional eight channels, your nine through 16. In this case, we're gonna be using channel nine on this switch to control our EPM. Let's take a look at channel nine. By default, we're in the middle here, and if I push forward, that will actually disengage the magnet to do the drop, and then if I pull up, that will engage the magnet so that we can carry our cargo. Initially, I'm going to demonstrate the pass-through capabilities, so we'll be able to trigger the EPM with the transmitter, and you'll notice here that my RC9 function, RC9, which maps to that auxiliary pin one, I have that set to one. That's the RC pass-through, so anything that I do with the Tyrannus on this channel will be passed through. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and power everything up. I'll just give our Pixhawk power. And I'll power our auxiliary rail. You can see the EPM is now powered up. Let's go ahead and engage the magnet. I'll just put that plate near it and then I'll toggle up. I almost grabbed my finger. Now you can see that that is engaged. And as I demonstrated earlier, we'll take a significant amount of force to pull that apart. And let me go ahead and just toggle, I'll flip down and up. And it's disengaged. Now that I've demonstrated the RC pass-through method, we're going to change this back to zero, which means the RC9 function will be disabled and allow us to use the EPM in mission planning. So I'll go ahead and write those parameters. 
Now, let me explain how this will work. I don't have the ability to demonstrate this yet, mainly because I don't have it mounted and set up, but you can see here we have a couple of waypoints, and then right here we have a do set servo command. We have that set to the RC9, which is the auxiliary one output. We'll set that PWM low, which will trigger the drop. And if you were actually in the field setting this up, you would manually, either via push button or your transmitter, set the value to high so that you can grab the cargo. And then when you get to your desired location, you run these two commands, low, then back to neutral to drop it. Even though I can't demonstrate this EPM hooked up to Pixhawk in an actual field mission, what I'll do is I'm on the flight data tab and I'm going to demonstrate just how we do have control of this through mission planner and the servo tab. And you can see I have RC9 here and I've set the value, the default of 1500, which is the middle position in 1900, which is the high position that will engage the magnets. I'm going to click toggle. And then what that will do is engage the magnet. What I'll do next is I'll just go ahead and change that high to a low of 1100 PWM and we'll toggle again. You can hear it releasing the magnet. So far I've been really impressed with this electro permanent magnet from Nicodrone and wanted to just share with you my initial findings. We were able to use it with RC pass through to control it directly from the Tyrannus as well as being able to use it with Mission Planner. And in an upcoming video, I'll do a demonstration of this at the field, as well as being able to interface with it via drone kit. That gets really exciting. I'll do that with the QAV500, as well as hopefully the 3DR Solo, and just demonstrate how to interface with this through software. I'll put a link to this product below. Definitely check it out. If you guys have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.